Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back again with another video. This video, it's not going to be the best video ever, but it's just an attempt at showing you guys what the uh, stunner strip is like over the 40 gallon. Um, colors are <clears throat> definitely washed out on this video. Uh, definitely see a lot of colors just bleeding on the video but um, in person it looks a lot more crisp it looks uh, the rocks have a purple hue to them and the surrounding everything else the glass the water everything else has a little bit of a bluish hue it's kind of like what you're seeing on the on the image in the camera but just not as intense but it looks astonishing in person. It looks awesome. Um, I just got it up here. Basically wedged it in between the uh, brace up here. The trim. But this isn't how it's going to be permanently. I just have it up here just for for right now. I'm going to have a glass top. And I'm going to put it just sitting on sit it on top of the glass. And uh, then I'll have... If everything goes smoothly, I plan on getting a Kessel A150 uh, uh, wide, and that one should uh, provide the light that I need for uh, to sustain corals inside of my tank. But um, let me show you guys without dropping this light in the water. Um, so it's two blue lights and then a magenta and that's basically the pattern going all the way down and it looks awesome um, the reason I chose this is because I didn't want a blue blue look of just having an all blue stunner strip because uh, I feel that's for moonlights and um, this is gonna be a supplement for my uh, Kessel A150 but um, stay tuned for that guys uh, any questions comments concerns leave them down in the section below and I'll get to them as soon as possible um, again this is just a demo of how everything looks with the uh, stunner strip and um, I mean it lights up the entire tank it looks real nice I guess if you are planning on lighting your tank with stunner strips only I would go with maybe a magenta and blue like this and then a uh, another uh, blue and white I think they're 10k or 12k 14k I'm not sure and that should be enough for uh, corals maybe not SPS but uh, a lot of the softies zoas uh, maybe LPS that that should be fine but um don't uh, take my word 100% for it uh, you guys do your research on that and uh, it's just my opinion but definitely if you're using this as a supplement to add shimmer to your tank to add a, a, a nice light to make your corals pop this is definitely the route to go and like I said I'm adding this as a supplement for my Kessel A150 wide because it's a pendant uh, LED lighting fixture so it might not cover the whole tank as uh, as good so that's why I got this thunder strip to go across the whole tank to supplement any dark areas 